Okay, today we are going to talk about rectal bleeding, that is bleeding from your back passage. Um, as you are aware, like a lot of people have these symptoms of uh, on and off having some blood passing uh, from the back passage. Um, is it normal to have blood coming from your back passage? Well, physiologically or normally, it is not normal to have blood coming from your back passage. So. Uh, so anybody who has passage of blood or rectal bleeding uh, is, uh, is actually a, a medical symptom. So it is important to see why you can have rectal bleeding. Rectal bleeding can be a result from bleeding from hemorrhoids, which is a very harmless condition, um, or it can be actually due to some other serious illness. So the main point I want to uh, uh, emphasize today is that all bleeding from the rectum are not from hemorrhoids because uh, hemorrhoids can be sometimes locally treated we can give injections we can give uh, ointments uh, and then we have surgeries to offer uh, so it is quite uh, an easy disease to manage but sometimes behind these hemorrhoids we can have significant uh, other pathology or other illnesses like you can even have a growth up in your rectum which can cause the bleeding. So if we can if we just say that rectal bleeding is just because of hemorrhoids, it might not be a safe thing to do. So it is very important that if you have rectal bleeding that you uh, visit a doctor and uh, make sure that you get properly investigated to see where the bleeding is coming from. Uh, if you look at hemorrhoids, uh, this, uh, there are three uh, steps in hemorrhoids. Sometimes you cannot see these hemorrhoids which are up in the anal canal. Sometimes you can feel them when, they come, when you go to the toilet, it might come out and it might regress on its own. Sometimes they come out and stay outside. So depending on the stages, your doctor will decide which kind of treatment uh, they can offer could be either an injection to the hemorrhoids, a band to the hemorrhoids or lastly it could be surgery and nowadays surgery for the hemorrhoids are not very painful as before because there are improvised methods of treating such as using staplers, um, hemorrhoidal staplers, using uh, various ligation methods, using laser or, um, or uh, then finally offering surgery. However, like before we undertake any form of treatment for hemorrhoids, it's mandatory that uh, you get uh, an assessment of your large bowel. So this can be done by either a flexible sigmoidoscopy or a colonoscopy. Um, if you have these symptoms, if you visit the hospital and see a specialist, they will assess your life and your age and also your lifetime risk of developing a significant problem and decide whether you need a sigmoidoscopy or a coronoscopy. And uh, so based on these results, if it is just a straightforward hemorrhoid, it will be offered uh, the appropriate treatment. Uh, what I want to emphasize here is sometimes rectal cancer or colonic cancer or diseases like inflammatory bowel disease can uh, uh, also present with rectal bleeding. So these are illnesses that have a significant um, uh, danger and also like they, these uh, illnesses require early and prompt treatment. So uh, performing coronoscopy in such a patient will, uh, will uh, allow the physician to or the surgeon to identify this problem and uh, help with uh, planning the treatment. So it is important if you have rectal bleeding that you visit the hospital and see a specialist and not just ignore it thinking that it is just coming from files. Thank you.